You should absolutely have a one second draw. Hey everyone, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense. And we're here today to talk about American Minuteman skills. Uh, and one of the skills that you should have is a sub second draw. Now you could say at the outset, oh, that's crazy. So, you know, as we've, collective we here, have progressed in shooting in the past 10, 15, 25 years, our standards keep getting better because, you know, shooting is uh, relatively new as far as like modern shooting styles, right? Um, you know, Weaver was the first guy to put two hands on the gun and, and look through the sights, right? When he was shooting like competition and stuff in the 80s and stuff and that was starting to get bigger. Uh, that's where you get the Weaver stance. If you look at pictures of Weaver, he's not actually doing the Weaver stance. It's much more isosceles, but whatever. I'm kind of beyond most of that anyway. Uh, beyond like care less and less about, to be honest. Uh, but that being said, uh, you should have a sub second draw, right? That used to probably not be the case and that used to be kind of insane. Two seconds when I got into shoot, serious shooting like 10 years ago, 15 years ago, that was kind of the standard, was two seconds. Like two seconds or less from concealment to get the, I gotta watch the microphone cord there, to get the gun out, right, and get on target, like, and pull the trigger, two seconds. That's, that's kind of was the, the standard at that point. Then it was 1.5. I'd say it's kind of still the go-to kind of professional standard of like 1.5 from concealment, from your duty gear. Stupid cord is screwing up my game. Um, to, to drive to the, the target, right? Uh, and now I would say it should be one or less. And, and this is a caveated one, maybe one with an asterisk. Like ideally what that should mean is Live fire, one second, seven yards, eight inch circle, right? You should be able to hit an eight inch circle at seven yards in a second or less. And I, I think that's much more achievable than, than you might think it is, right? Uh, that, and the asterisk there is that's what we want in a perfect world. Asterisk being uh, in dry fire, if you're hitting that, I'm probably gonna call it good. Um, do you need a one second draw? Well, I don't know, probably, maybe, probably not, I don't know. But what I think about there is I think about you need to build up uh, skill excess so that when you fall on your face and you just are having the worst day of your life, you're plummeting to like a 1.4 or a 1.3 draw, right? If that's your bad draw, like, oh God, everything just fell apart there. My grip was crap. I, just, I had to maneuver around the microphone cord. Like everything sucked and I fell to 1.3, we're gonna take that. We're gonna take that. That's gonna be good enough, right? That's what I want your worst draw to be. 1.3, 1.4, 1.5. I want those to be like, oh my God, what was I doing? That was horrible, right? And then when you're, you're pushing the envelope, I wanna be looking at 9.6, 9.0, right? 8.5, like, and again, can people draw faster than that? Yeah, I think like the, uh, uh, Scott Jelinski, Modern Samurai Project, I think I've seen a video of him doing like 0.6 or just something ludicrous, right? Something absolutely insane. Um, good for him, very impressive. Uh, now, my point is, is if you have that skill excess, right? And when you plummet, you plummet by half a second, but you fall from one to one five, and one five is still pretty good, okay? So we need to be building up that skill excess. You can absolutely do a one second draw. I have personally trained people. I have watched people in other classes I've taken come in with little to no shooting experience. And by the end of that one day course of fire, be able to do a sub second draw. All right, I've seen it. And the way to do it, if like, what's the hidden secret here? It's just, you just get a shot timer, okay? Set it for 1.5, do 10 draws. Set it for 1.4, do 10 draws. I'm talking about that second beep, right? So when you beep it, this is on a second right now, but I beep it, oh, hold on, maybe I beep it. It's on delay. There you go, that's one second, right? So that second beep, set that for 1.5. Then you set it for 1.4, then 1.3, then 1.2, then 1.1, then one, right? And do, do five, 10 a pop there, then nine, then 0.9, excuse me, then 0.8, right? And really push it until all the wheels are just falling off. And then that's it, you know, do, do your 30, 50, 60 draws, whatever, and that's it. And then the next day do the same thing and, say, and just repeat, okay? And hopefully you're gonna, you will not hopefully, you will absolutely start to see that time come down, okay? And then who knows how much further you can push it. Can you push it to 0.6? I don't know, I can't push to 0.6 yet, maybe you can. But my point being, we need to be able to hit that sub-second. And we need to be doing that consistently in dry fire so that again, 
when our day comes and it's the worst day of your life and you plummet and fall on your face, you're, you're going to fail at 1.3. Man, I'm going to take that. That's a win. That video is going to be, make you internet famous, right? Like, look at this guy, 1.3, like under the clock. Like that's amazing, right? That, that's that's going to really get you the, the internet points. So practice that sub-second draw, boys. If you're not doing that already, if you don't dry fire, I know most of you aren't, start dry firing, okay? Number two, get a shot timer, all right? Dry firing without a shot timer is, is still good, do that, uh, but it's not nearly as beneficial, especially when we're talking about draw times. Everything else, to be honest these days, I don't care too much about timing, but draw, I very much care about timing, okay? That is very, very important. You need to be drawing dry with a shot timer and pushing your speed so you know when you get better, okay? So, get that sub-second draw, boys. You can do it, I have full faith in you. If I can do it, I'm not even that good. You're probably a better shooter than me. Do brave deeds and endure.